Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Oh So Edgy, and it was uploaded by Croco Shark, and the name of this video is The Most Extreme Survivors. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Tough. With here animals we go. living in the worst conditions Campbell's. on the planet. What the fuck's happening? Survivors, huh? Okay. We're counting down the top 10 most extreme survivors in the animal kingdom. And in the see animal how kingdom. we stack up against their extraordinary endurance. What the hell's that? Discover that when the going gets tough, the, the tough get pushed to the oh, most hell. extreme animal planet. Here we go, extreme Earth motherfuckers. Is a planet of extremes. It's a piece of shit. Extreme places. Because people ruin it. You wouldn't think all that shit was happening animals. if you look at look at the planet outside in space. Alright, we're gonna see some animal drugs. Yeah, there's some extreme stuff going on. Join us as we count down to find the most unusual and the most We'll see what we got here. Cook, what you got cooking? Planets, the most. Extreme, Extreme ECW. Oh, animal plant. Number 10. Oh. Our countdown begins in a land of extremes. Uh, extreme heat uh, and extreme dryness. I hate deserts. You have to be tough to survive in a desert. Fuck that. I hate deserts in movies. I hate deserts in real life. Look at it. It looks like shit. That's why camels, Poor camels. are coming in at number 10 in our countdown of extreme They gotta deal with this survivors. shit every day. Is that alien gay coming for you? For thousands of years, people have been crossing the arid wastelands of Arabia. Well, you need to stop that. known as ships of the desert. Ships of the desert. They walk really slow. Other people have been less complimentary. Come on, it's 2024. You gotta have better technology than this. By committee. Put, but if so, put some armor on the these damn camels. Knew what it put was some air doing. conditioners inside. That way you like to suffer the, the heat. The camel might be ugly, but it survives in conditions that well, no horse ever could. Well, he might take offense to that. He As might camel say, well, I think you're ugly, motherfucker. Explains. And he'll the give you the damn stone cold stunner. Amazing adaptation to the desert. Um, you know, it's arid, it's hot. Shit. There's not much food, uh, but look not how big these animals grow and how strong go, they are. Uh, they can carry 600 pounds for food. of weight for 10 hours a day um, without that much water or food. They're camels, um, everything man. Everything about them is, is adaptation. To they even named the soup after them. Camel soup If you look at the nostrils, the nostrils are little slits and they have special muscles that will help them close them. It's even the a cigarette. I the little hairs camel inside them will siphon out something. the sand so they can actually breathe. Um, when you they look at the eyes, long eyelashes will keep the sand away from the eyes. And now they also have a second eyelid that goes across it so they can walk in the desert with their eyelid They're camels, their eye. man. The camel's most famous feature also comes in handy in the desert. What? But contrary to popular opinion, its hump doesn't store water. Oh. It's actually full of fat, which oh. it can use as a fuel supply in times of adversity. Well, so shit. with all these built-in survival features, just how tough is a camel? We have built-in shit survival features. Imagine if you were dropped into a desert. There's I hope no that water, never happens. No shade. And the temperature's 120 Time degrees. Time to dig underground and You start sweating live there. at an alarming rate. Sweating drains your body fluids. Oh yeah, we have to have all that shit in us. Sweat and, and you're fucking... in big trouble. Yeah, With the nothing to sucks. drink in less than 36 hours. See, it sucks being here. You'd be dead. Of course. Were we, were we a mistake? Being put on this planet? But imagine if we had the super survival skills of the camel. 
we'd be so able the camera got the survival the skills that a human much don't. longer than so an ordinary somebody's playing human. favorites that's I thought because we were not the only is chain. the camel better at conserving water it can lose more than 25 percent of its body weight and still Shit. survive it can, it can go without a drink for an incredible eight days eight days so when it finally finds water it's no wonder it can drink 21 gallons that's not a camel though minutes. that's a person Fuck. But it's a different kind of drink that, that may take the camel out of the desert and into our homes. No, you don't cow milk is very nutritious. Don't when bring you think those about the homes. desert, there, there really isn't anything there. Especially oh, no. when you think about fruits or vegetables that can supply vitamin C for the young baby it's camel. Camel's behavior. Camel milk will contain triple the amount of vitamin C I don't that hear cow about milk geos. will have in it. It also has insulin, and we're very yeah. interested in doing the research to find out how this insulin works with diabetics. Stop. And it's in the camel's jizz. Okay, of course, the tricky part is getting the milk out of the camel. I don't want to hear that. Good girl. Ugh, stop. Oh, no. Hey, he's, he's milking that thing. There goes the jizz with insulin in it. You know, he's He'll getting all my years. Camels, Fuck but off. milks them. He set up the first camel dairy in the United States. <sighs> I can't but look it's not at that. I cannot idea. look at that. In deserts around the world, many people rely on this nutritious milk for survival. I hate And Gills discovered it. that camel milk has 40% less cholesterol than cow milk. I can't look at that. And will keep for look at four that. months in the fridge. <laughs> Can we stop it's the a long way from the deserts of Arabia okay. to the fridges of America. But who knows? Maybe one day we'll be calling the camel what the, the cow of the desert. It? Okay, we know the uh, If only I'm our next contender right in the countdown was as kissable as a camel. I don't hear it. All right, here we go. We're moving on. Number nine, bitch. Turn it upside down, you got a six, which is a bad luck number. Welcome to Dry Bones, Texas. Dry Bones? It's time for a showdown with pest controller Michael Bowden. Why you got the camera all the way down there? Oh, I hate rats. They will mess up your shit. Are they gonna have a stare down or something? Oh, never mind. The rat may be number nine in yeah. our countdown. But it's also public enemy number one. You need guns. Pull out your uh, revolvers and shoot that bitch. Really? Rats have been around for <laughs> millions of years, and they've always associated themselves with man. And as a result, they've been able to adapt their life, and they're uh, very prolific. They continue to breed, It doesn't too. take very long for a rodent to be uh, born, and then, let's say, 30, 45 days later, it starts uh, having young of its own. gross-looking man. Uh. At this rate, a single pair of rats could have 15,000 offspring in a year oh, if they no. all survived. And surviving you gotta is what rats them, do man. best. Huh. Rats are number nine People in our extreme sorry for rats. countdown. Well, let them all in your house so and you see what happens. They have to be because is it, is it we try all your really shit hard to get rid of them and They're the hard diseases to get rid of. they carry. And they carry diseases, but rats like just the keep virus. coming back for more. And Take a look at other most cities, in the water that and make you'll find for every up. person, there's at least one rat making itself at home. Master Splinter. So how do these wily rodents always stay one jump ahead of us? Where's the green ooze? Well, <laughs> for a start, rats are incredible athletes. Oh hell! Their superhuman powers mean they can come into that our lives That motherfucker gets in my house, he's most dead. ...unsavory entrances. I would have to call it Sturmator again himself. They may be your worst nightmare. Yeah, that's but a nightmare. But have you ever dreamt of what it would be like to have the superpowers of a rat? Superpowers, really? If you were a rat, you'd be able to squeeze into some very small spaces. You want to go on a toilet and drown in the ship? Thanks to the flexible bones in your skull, you can't breathe you'd be able to squeeze through any hole that's just slightly bigger than the uh, width of your head. Go right to the sewer. And you'd never the get stuck in a pipe go? because the jaws of the rat 
are 120 times stronger than ours. That means you could easily gnaw a hole in a lead pipe, or a Kill garbage can, or even cinder blocks. Somebody playing favorites again. And if there isn't Man, a handy so toilet to escape do down, compared to animals, don't panic. Rodents. Because rats are so much smaller and lighter than humans, they have no trouble falling great distances. With the well, superpowers of a rat, you could survive a fall from a five-story building. Of course, but a human can't. That's why we've had so, to try again, every trick in the favorites. book to get rid of these we be able to survive super survivors. Shit. We'd all live longer. Like when we land, it should feel like a cushion or something. Boom. Poisons are our favorite weapon. But yeah. rats have even found Thank ways you, to survive for this chemical shit. warfare. It seems Kills rats, rats and take tiny bites of any new food they find, including poisons, which may help them build up them. an immunity. If you got a pet rat, coupled with the rats it's fine, fast I guess. I don't want rate. it to die, but this has all these the rodents running around destroying rats. shit. Get Animals that scientists have described as little bags of poison with four legs and a tail. Uh. Uh. Although rats may seem indestructible, Just they're that. still Ugh. only number nine in our most extreme countdown. Yeah, fucking rats, we're gonna get this out. Nah. We've survived the first two contenders. But coming up, our animals so tough, they don't need health insurance. Because they can walk away from any disaster. What the Even shit? the end of the world. That's coming the world up on Animal ended. Planets the It's most. ending more, though. And just keep on ending. Number eight, huh? Here we go. Water. The sea can be extremely oh, sea. dangerous. Under Especially if you're a gannet. A what? A gannet. The Australasian gannet is a hunter of fish. Never so heard it of that has name. a problem. How do you catch a fish when you're soaring 100 feet above the sea? The I don't know, man. Is Go simple. on land look if fish a little or extreme. something. That's uh, not a fish. So he thinks he's an airplane? Okay, that's a mental illness for this uh, bird. The gannet he's an airplane. is number eight in the countdown because no ordinary sure. animal could survive hitting the sea at 90 miles per hour. He hit that sea hard. Anything at that speed is usually fatal. Yeah, it should break his neck, but it don't. Look at us, and we just die. Crash buildings. You'd have to be a dummy to try diving into the sea at these speeds. Fuck that, man. Why can't we have advantages? So but we can protect our are bodies. extreme survivors, thanks to their clever design. We should be able to survive to a thousand sure feet they don't fall. Water, gannets have no nostrils or two thousand feet, and can whatever, keep that how beak tightly shut upon goes. impact. And its body has built-in airbags just under the skin. Well, just before it dies, so the gannet again. inflates these air pockets well, we're gonna to have absorb our the shock shit of impact. Bodies. I want to have animanium bones. We've installed a similar Take away system the in our cars. Shit, though. I want you to heal really fast, like as soon as I get cut, it just heals like that. You don't even feel it. And you're like, oh, what the fuck was that? Unlike gannets, the human body's not built for these extreme impacts. So why Here would you. anyone make a career of diving into the water at 60 these birds miles an the hour? Man. Yeah, Welcome when a human does, to the extreme taking sport a chance. of professional cliff diving. I don't want to see you doing that shit. Uh, These idiot. guys jump from more than twice the height of an Olympic high diver, Do a flip. and they hit the water nine times harder. Yeah, and there could be some rocks down there too. Idiot. Yeah, you're definitely asking to die. One of these human gannets oh is Dustin Webster. God. Why is he doing it? Why would I jump off of something? Ram Ranch. Well, He's from Ram uh, Ranch. Animals, it's not for survival. Uh, that's for sure. Half naked no cowboy hat on. Ram Ranch. And he's doing flips in the water. Son of a bitch. First look over the okay, edge. Uh, do I need to it's age restrict this? You can't imagine how far Stop down it. it is. Stop. Fuck. The height I was going from today is actually uh, 63 feet. That's about 19 meters. I don't meters. care. Pretty high uh, when you consider that uh, the human that body's is disturbing not looking. that kind of impact. Uh, he hangs out with the 18 naked cowboys, the I guess. The thing I can tell you is when you hit, 
you better not relax until you take your first breath of air. Because if you relax, that water's gonna tear you apart. It's, it's gonna Yeah, because we're not meant to go in the water, motherfucker. You we're not have to fish, get we're not to feel certain similar, animals that, you know. <laughs> similar feeling. We're not allowed to do anything. Any impact to us can kill us. We can't even fucking fly. Unless we use our airplane, which is stupid. We should be able to fly on our own. We should be able to phase through shit too. If something comes air, like a collision, you like don't have time to think about it. scared or like anything. Nothing. It's uh, it's it's business at that point. You gotta oh, be paying God. attention, otherwise you're gonna Can get we hurt. Get the camera off Ram Ranch Cowboy. I don't. Cliff realize. diving is really a mental game. Cliff diving. Jumping from that height. That's. Uh, I wanna that's die. Personally, I'm well, lucky that I've been able to to do this for so long. I have a great life, <sighs> traveling the world and jumping off of stuff. I don't want to see this. It may be fun. But cliff diving is also extremely dangerous. Yeah, even when going but nobody learns first. or listens. That's why it's best left to those animals with built-in yeah. safety equipment. Leap to the favorites. And an appetite for extreme speed. So they can do that and laugh at us because we can't do shit. If you think that but push political divers, agendas on people and be retarded. Incredible climbers and deep drinking survivors are tough. <sighs> Just wait till Damn. you meet an animal that loves the high life so much, it'll take your breath away. Oh, really? Take That's my breath next away? Animal I doubt that. The most. Extreme. All right. You should let Paul Heyman do the voice for that part. Extreme. Seven. That's a lucky number. Seven. I like that number. Our next tough customer lives high in the Andes of South TVG. America. It's a cousin of the camel that doesn't Another survive camel? extreme heat, oh, okay. but height. What? Another camel, Meet really? the guanaco. Guanaco? Oh, he just chewing some bubble gum. It can be found more than three miles above sea level. Really? Up I never here, see the them. air is dangerously thin. It contains only a third of the oxygen it would at sea level. Well, fuck. That's They're why the Guanaco is number seven in our countdown. Not exactly a camel. It's like perfectly a adapted for living in conditions that would leave us gasping for breath. It looks like a snowy. Imagine if you were dropped onto a mountain 11,000 feet above sea level. In the rarefied atmosphere, you'd fuck. soon be feeling sick and tired because See? the organs of Humans. your body need oxygen to work properly. And Just oxygen make us a is better carried way. by red blood cells. We shouldn't have to go through all this shit. In a teaspoon of blood, there are about makes 19 you billion looking about that. Them, which sounds like we're a lot. We're so fucking but limited. In air, this is why enough. life is boring as shit. And we're only having fun when we're in our dreams. That's why climbing mountains can be a dangerous Or watching business. something on TV to get Above away from reality because reality feet, sucks. You're breathing four times faster than normal and still not getting enough oxygen. In the death zone, about 25,000 feet, are so your digestive cursed. system gives up, and in a desperate search for oxygen, starts to eat itself. Yeah, because the it's body It's not sucks. a nice way to go. Of course not. I say we just sit in our little rooms, but imagine our if little we houses, were like the and not do anything. That way we'll all be safe. A human with guanaco we're not allowed to do would have four else. times as many red blood cells, and each blood cell would live twice as long. With so many more cells to collect oxygen from the thin cells. air, the guanaco is much better suited to the high life well, they than didn't we talk are. Each other. Put some clothes on at least. The Fuck. guanaco was once described as a careless mixture of parts intended for other beasts and turned down so as below animal. standard. But like all our other contenders in our countdown, when it comes to extreme survival, this careless mixture Where can teach that? us a thing or two. Bah! I mean, not bad. I don't want the fuck. Oh, we done with that one? Alright, we're getting to a bad luck number now. Number shit. That's what I call it, statistics. If rats are our worst nightmare, then cockroaches oh, must be what yeah. rats have bad dreams about. I have no sympathy for those. These I will kill each one I see. Are number six in our countdown I will squish those motherfuckers with my shoe, my boot. Because they'll survive just about anything we throw at them. 
You can, you do not and let no those live in your house, folks. You kill each one you see. Antenna, and an extra brain they can in ruin rear. your life. Cockroaches you know, can ruin dodge your house just too. about anything. Yes, step on it. No, he but missed then, them. They've had plenty of practice. I Some kill those 400 things. million years, in fact. Ugh. Cockroaches were bugging dinosaurs long before they set foot in they your kitchen. Dinosaurs. You gotta but exterminate from the every single of fucking Natick, Massachusetts one of those. And the eggs. comes the ultimate cockroach survival story. Thirty How years the ago, scientists at the local army base were carrying out experiments on giant Madagascan hissing cockroaches. Oh God, no! I they hate these things. They exposed the bugs to doses of radiation. Burn, man! I'm gonna see them burn. There you go, blow them up. That's even better, actually. Cockroaches can survive 200 times more radiation than we oh, can. Oh fuck! Okay, just exterminate. But at the poison. end of the experiment, the scientists were left with a colony of radioactive roaches. Why are you working in so there? So they decided they better poison the bugs and then seal yeah. them in plastic bags to be taken to the local landfill. Wait, what? But these were bugs that just didn't know when to quit. They shrugged Holy off shit. the poison, chewed out of the bags, and were soon running amok in the burbs. The burbs. One resident even had radioactive roaches for no. breakfast. Radioactive roaches for breakfast. That's why the army decreed the only reliable way to kill <sighs> these bugs was to hit them with a hammer. I want them to suffer but even and die then, a gruesome you death. You have to aim carefully. Cockroaches can live for a month with no head and only for then a, for no die head. of thirst. Cockroaches oh. may be too tough for their own good. Because they're them. so hard to get out of our lives, most people think cockroaches are revolting. Yeah, they never okay. will. They multiply too much. Now these are giant hissing cockroaches. <laughs> Why do you have that in the class? <laughs> I told you you guys would like these. Even wildlife I'll educators like Paul Hahn have trouble getting people to appreciate those the truly incredible survival bugs. skills of the cockroach. I didn't know they get to that size. If you think the cockroach okay. was disgusting, just number wait six till we sink even cockroach. lower in the search for our next contender oh, in no. the countdown. What is this? We're Ugh. trudging the bottom of the sea to find an animal so tough it bathes in acid every day and bathes dines on acid? nothing but poisons. That's coming up next on Animal Planets the Why most. Why does animals have more? Extreme. Sometimes they get special treatment compared to others. Well, at least we're off that bad luck number six, so it's five now. You can't find number five in the countdown with a snorkel. a snorkel. You need Alvin. Alvin. Alvin is a deep sea exploration vehicle. Yeah, it's super advanced. The deep sea is just like deep space. Dark, yeah, I hate deep dangerous, sea. I hate deep and space. unknown. So Alvin has to be built to withstand the most extreme Man, I wish conditions we just dive in the nature water, can throw at it. You know, and breathe. And Imagine traveling a mile and a half film straight under there down. As much you want. Sunlight disappears after only a few hundred feet. And it lights up underwater too. You'd think nothing could survive down here. You'd and be then, wrong. out of the barren wastes, rises a miniature volcano. Oh, no. It's a chimney called a black smoker that spews boiling hot toxic chemicals into the sea. That's the damn earth, man. It would Doing take something shit. really tough to survive here. Something uh, as tough as the tube worm. A worm? Tube uh, worms are very strange animals. I've They're never full seen of billions of bacteria that convert the black smoker's toxic chemicals Why into they have food to be there? for the worm. That's why the tube worm has no mouth, no stomach, and no rear end. And no Yet purpose it survives in life. horrific conditions that would kill any other animal. Wow, that's a shitty way Imagine to live. Imagine if you were as tough as a tube worm. You'd spend your life sitting in a bath of vinegar, just like the acid waters of the black uh. smoker. And you'd be breathing hydrogen sulfide, a gas as deadly well, as cyanide. I wouldn't breathe that shit. Your feet would be in water just above freezing, 
But your head would be cooking in wafts of boiling water coming well, from the we'll vent. Be dead. <laughs> but the most deadly of all is the extreme pressure of all that water above you. Yeah, fuck it's like that. trying to breathe with a blue whale on your chest, pushing ah. down at more than 3,000 pounds per Not square like inch. That we may not be able to survive two miles under the surface, but Tanya Streeter from the Cayman Islands gives it her best shot. You got the water. Tanya is a free diver. That means she takes one big breath and oh, finds really? out how low she can go. You don't need to be doing that. Can you imagine holding your breath for two and a half minutes? I can't And do once it. you pass 200 feet, your lungs will be squeezed to the size of egg cups That's, as the wow, pressure fuck, collapses human, your man. chest cavity. People walk but the going down alive. is the easy bit. On her What's deepest wrong? dives, she'll have to swim the height of the Statue of Liberty to get to the surface. Oh, hell and no. all this on a single breath. No. It worth it. Just put on a thing where you can breathe. Tanya Streeter takes People snorkeling to the, the extreme, but even Tanya things. would have to dive Nobody 20 times do. deeper to visit the realm of the tube worm. I don't care about the tube worm. When nature the calls, our shit. next contender has learnt to hold out even longer than Tanya. Oh boy. Burn those worms. All right, where we going? Number four, yeah, man. Huh. Welcome to the Arctic. In this yeah, frozen cold. world, animals have to find ways to survive extreme cold. Super frozen geos. Uh, well, we're gonna talk about the penguin. Coming in at number four are the biggest survivors on our extreme oh, countdown. Polar yep. bears. That's what I thought. First guess was penguins. Your average polar bear has Never a seen five these inch layer else. of fat and two coats of fur to keep it Shit. warm. I would not in even fact, dare mess an with adult no bear will bear. suffer more from overheating in the summer than being cold in the winter. Yeah, they're allergic to the real world. They need the but cold. baby bears are not so well insulated. That's, the That's mascot why pregnant from females have to find another way to escape the worst of the Arctic weather. Santa Claus has to deal with these bitches Female all the time. polar bears go underground. Underground? How? Hey, bear! Alaskan what wildlife biologist bear, Pete Amstrup is looking for a polar bear den. Hey, bear! You want to get them to kill you? Is that what you're asking? Deep inside this snow cave, a female polar bear will tuck herself away from the worst of the Arctic winter. Idiot's crawling his bed. He's talking out loud. She'll too. spend four months in this den, saving energy by falling into a deep, deep sleep. A deep, deep sleep, so nothing can wake her up. Holy! Her heart rate shit. will drop to eight beats a minute, That's and her crazy. metabolism will slow to half its normal rate. Why was he and calling out? To she'll her, give birth to her cubs in her sleep. But the reason the polar bear is number four in the countdown wow, they, they're weird. is that during the entire four months she's asleep, she won't answer the call of nature. Not once. So danger Not can only is that extreme willpower, it's extremely interesting to scientists. Weird, man. It's not even a sound of a helicopter can wake up. That's because scientists believe that the polar bear's ability to grin and bear it may help sick humans as well. Ugh. It's just a matter of Why hunting down the secrets of the wow. bear's metabolism. You gonna go capture a bear? Why? Wow, so you can study it? The bear like, what the fuck was that shit? Leave those bears alone, man. Scientists are now taking sleep. a closer look at tranquilized bears because they're the ultimate recyclers. Instead of going to the toilet, hibernating bears turn wastes into protein. Though, what they are. Somehow, bears bear are able to kinda, split up the waste molecules so and use the components to build helpful chemicals that can be used by oh, your body. Oh, you're just taking some blood samples for a good purpose? 
sucks. You can't just walk up to it and ask. Scientists are hoping that by analyzing the bear's chemical recycling process, we could develop drugs for people with kidney failure. <sighs> I say don't do drugs, but there's certain drugs you have to take in order to live. Just stay away from cocaine Patients and marijuana. Patients could recycle their wastes rather than rely methamine, on dialysis machines heroin, to filter their blood for them. Certain pills. Perhaps Shit. one day the polar bear's extreme constipation will also be able to help we humans even have to hang do on this. a little longer. We shouldn't just have these problems to begin with. But if you thought the polar bears of the Arctic had it tough, just Damn. wait till you see the extreme conditions our next contender faces on the other side of the world. Oh boy, what we got? It seems incredible that anything could be tougher so like than a pet polar bear. bears. It was chill. Tube worms and cockroaches. But number three ah. in our countdown is an animal that makes the coldest place on Earth seem like a tropical paradise. Well, That's what coming is up it? next on Animal Planets okay. the Okay, you can actually tell us right Extreme. now. Extreme. All right. Here we go. I had to go to commercial break, I guess. Well, number three. All right, here we go. In Antarctica, cold is taken to the most Antarctica. extreme. In some places, the average temperature is minus 72 degrees. Oh. And it can get down to a world record minus 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, there's people that live in these type of places too. Spending the winter in Antarctica. I think After I reacted to a video about in something these like temperatures, that. Kids going to school, then the super freezes in cold. less than a minute. Yet number three in our countdown walks here in bare feet. Don't be bare feet? What? I don't believe that. No one would walk out there barefoot. These oh, you're talking about are penguins. emperor penguins. Yep, they are. I was thinking about them earlier. At the earlier, beginning thinking, of the winter, when the sea well, freezes the over here. and the going gets tough, most animals head north for warmer places. They're penguins. But not the emperors. Is penguin These zero in These incredible survivors Critical. choose to breed in the coldest place on Earth. Look out, man. They're chill. They don't give a fuck. They don't, they don't they bother nobody. They waddle and slide up to 50 miles to reach their breeding ground, where they huddle together to keep out the worst of the wind. They stand up like humans. And they crawl too. The females each lay a single egg. That's weird. And then they leave the males to it. I just the colony how they of solo like that. dads is plunged into the perpetual darkness of the Antarctic winter. Well, shit. But the There's males the have drugs. a problem. There's nothing to build nests out of in this frozen wilderness. Yeah, about to make some... So the males make a nest of their feet. The fuck? They balance the precious egg on the tops of their toes That's some and shit. cover it with a warm pouch of skin. These birds and are then very strange. They settle strange. down for the winter. These are Pokemon, folks. Real life. They Pokemon. barely move for 65 days. They keep that egg on their toes despite freezing temperatures, cruel winds, and those blinding me out. storms. And throughout it all, they don't eat a mouthful of food. I'm sure they eat bananas and lettuce. When the sun finally returns, it's a huge relief for everyone who spent the winter on the ice. What are you carrying there? A toy? Remove all the rocks and plywood. Why are you plane. doing that for? So Putting on a play? <laughs> this ain't the place for that. The arrival of spring signals the annual Scott Base Polar Plunge. What the fuck? The rules are simple. No clothes allowed. And you must go okay. completely under. Fucking dumb motherfucker. You can die from that. People have died from this shit. You don't do it. It's gotta be a quick dip because cold water robs body yeah, of the Yeah, you could be washed to the side cold air. and die. In freezing I heard a story waters, about that. it only uh, takes minutes to that. stop your heart. But there are cases of extreme survival. In March 1975, up, an 18-year-old Michigan man was out for a walk when he fell through the ice. Yeah, died. He was submerged in freezing waters for 38 minutes. Oh, really? Did when survive? rescuers pulled his body from the water, there were no signs of life. Dead. Just dead. He was en route for the morgue 
when suddenly he came back to life Wait, thanks what? to the mammalian diving reflex. What the this fuck? shuts down all the body's systems well, somebody's except playing those necessary kept them alive. to keep the heart and brain alive. In Why extremely can't we all just go, cold water, it can mind, keep humans and other more expert divers alive for a long time. We need special abilities, man. Submerged emperor penguins are also thought to be able to reduce I humans evolved. to all but the most vital No organs. one's evolving. We're devolving. That's why they can spend almost 20 minutes underwater on a single breath. Ugh. I won. I won. Jump right out of that damn water. Once back on the ice, fun. the female emperors head back to their hungry males. I had a pet penguin. It's I put a them good on video. Thing the females spend the winter show. feeding. Because now the eggs have hatched, and there's an extra mouth to feed. Stop. I don't... Okay, there's a baby. Came out as... Not what it... Her. To survive in this frozen world, you have to be tough. But well, the emperor chicks with still your need to keep penguins. on their toes. Keep if each other they warm. fell onto the ice, they could freeze to death in only two minutes. You just multiply next But year. that's no problem that's for the next contender in our most extreme countdown. So weird. And watch next. Number two, bitch. In the mountains of New Zealand, number two in our countdown has a truly extreme solution to surviving the cold what winter. For? What the hell's that? This is a huge flightless cricket called a weta. It's ugly. It's got tiger it's stripes tough and a stinger with an armor-plated body and massive jaws. I don't like it. But unlike polar like it. bears Kill or it. penguins, Get rid of it's it. cold-blooded. Yeah, it's a cold-blooded kind of killer. So when the temperature drops, the Weta chills out. Yeah, chills out, but it still survives. The hell, that sound of ice. The Weta freezes solid, and it survives. Its heart stops beating and all brain function ceases as the water in its body wow. turns to ice, sometimes for several months. Man, it it takes crazy. a very special kind of animal to survive these freezing conditions. Why can't we survive anything extreme? Not like this. Oh, Even footage. experts can only survive for a few minutes. No. So weak. Unlike the Weta, Pathetic. if ice crystals start forming in our cells, we're in big trouble. Of course. Ice crystals are big, sharp, and destructive. Somebody plays favorites. When mountaineers like this animal's ice better than you, forming in this their body, got more it's than called you. frostbite. Yeah, we get that shit. Yeah. Ice destroys every cell it touches out. because it ruptures delicate Great, oh, cell God. membranes. Great shit, right? Even when the frostbitten areas warm up and Being the ice the melts, is all pathetic. cells are dead and destroyed. And that can lead to gangrene and amputation. Just puss out of misery already, shit. We're not, we weren't meant to have special features or anything. This, this is our life But right not there. for the Weta. For when the thaw not begins, the, weta, the weta comes back from the dead. Wow. Why? Why that one? Polar bears are better survivors too. There's no frostbite. There's no cell damage. Of course not. The Weta's just been in suspended animation. Was he having a sweet dream? Ugh. Fucking piece of shit. And scientists still have no idea how it survives. Well, that means they're not good scientists. But even the Weta's they think they know how the world endurance works is still no wrong. match for the ultimate survivor on the planet. We've seen the nine Mother contenders. Fuck. They're the best of the best. Except for number Only one, Only right? one animal is tougher. One, huh? It's Who number it? one, and it's coming up next number on Animal one. Planet's The Most Extreme.
I can guess an elephant. Woolly mammoth. Tiger. I don't know. Let's see if Our goes number around. one most extreme survivor oh, is shark. so tough. You can find Killer it whale. just about anywhere on the planet. From the bottom of the ocean yeah, to the top of the down. Himalayas. It can survive in hot springs and freezing Arctic wastelands. Seal. Woolly Dry oh, yeah, deserts and humid rainforests. Well, what the fuck is it, man? And it can even survive in your backyard. Oh hell no. Entomologist Rude Kleinpast is hunting for the world's toughest animal. What is it? Most you toughest. can find the most extreme survivor that? anywhere. No. There's moss or lichen. Oh, the bug? only problem is that the world's toughest animal is very. Very small. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not no animal like I thought. It's a tiny little shit. I was completely wrong, dude. What is Coming it? Coming in at number one in the countdown is the water bear. It's a real shame the that water the water bear. bears are so small. They're invisible to the naked the eye, but if you could see them, they look cute. Just like little teddy bears. Why they gotta be that tiny? Normally, this tiny animal waddles around on its four pairs of plump little legs. Well, those things don't have a chance to out of mosses and lichens. People will stomp on them. But when the going gets tough, how can the cute and squishy water bear be water tougher bear. than a grizzly bear? What? Is it an actual bear? The water bear is like the most bear. extreme survivor on the planet because when conditions get tough, We're this animal it. effectively curls up and dies. Oh, wow. Shouldn't have been born It loses 99% of the water in its body and enters a state of suspended animation. Let's say a water bear starts getting too cold. It'll uh, shrink down, man, retract right. all its legs, and shut down all systems until conditions improve. That's Once stupid. they're in this state, they're this practically indestructible. It survives the most Imagine of all the other Imagine if you were ones. as tough as a water bear. If things started getting too cold, all you have to do is curl up and lose virtually all the water in your body. You'd Fuck enter man. a state of suspended animation. Freezing solid would be no problem to a human water bear. I just love being a human. Water bears can survive temperatures as low as minus 328 what about degrees a water Fahrenheit. Tiger? Water wolf. Extreme heat would be no trouble either. Water bears have survived a scorching 303 degrees. Throw them in the lava and see if they survive. Imagine if a human was exposed to radioactive material. Oh, you could be 150 miles downwind from a nuclear blast and Fucking still magic. get a lethal dose of fallout. Well, you should be standing there. That's about 500 ronchens, the units used to measure radiation. The indestructible water bear has been shown water to survive a thousand rogues. times that amount. And life in the, the desert would be no trouble for Stop a water bear. Stop like that. With nothing to drink, most humans would last less than two days. Are you torturing this but person? But even camels are no match for one incredible water bear. A the water bear, ago, why is it got to be so... A water bear mind, was trapped man. in a museum but specimen have a normal a size, like a dog or something. Small dog. It came back to life when scientists added water to the moss 120 years later. 120? What? The water bear's toughness is literally out of this world because it's an alien. it could even survive the vacuum of space. It's an alien, like I said. It wow. seems you can never judge an animal by its soft and squishy looks. Water bear. How about water immortal or some shit? Somebody playing favorites like I said. Why can't we have special abilities like that? After all, better. when it comes to survival, the water bear really is the He's most number one, number one, huh? extreme. Extreme motherfuckers. Yay. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yo. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.